Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are having fun in the sun all summer long, which yes. means it's cocktail time. Yes. So here to mix up some delicious beverages with a summertime twist is one of our favorite bartenders, Toki Sears, lead bartender at Bar Margo at the Four Seasons Hotel yes. right here in Atlanta. Hey, welcome to hey, Toki again. Hey, How are you? We don't have a lot of time, so we're going to get all of it in, so we're going to just jump on in it. Okay, so you know, I, I'm a bar owner myself, yes. Bar Chicks in Duluth, Georgia. Um, <laughs> and so I know a little bit about mixing a cocktail or yes. five or 12. So what are we starting with first? So do you know how to mix a pop tail? <gasps> Show me. Yes. I, might, I might steal it. So this is a mezcal popsicle cocktail. Oh, ooh. Um, the key to mixing um, popsicle cocktails at home is totally about dilution mm -hmm. so if you have you know because you can't really freeze alcohol oh, yeah. so you mm -hmm. got one part alcohol to like five parts of your juice and your mixers and all of that stuff so anyway so we have some mezcal some yellow chartreuse some house-made strawberry puree a little bit of lime juice i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Ooh, what is that? A little bit of salt. Oh, that's going to be a maze ball. Yes. Okay, so a little bit do of me pepper. a favor, Toki. Tell people the difference between mezcal and um, tequila, because a lot of people can't differentiate the two, because they think they're going to find the worm in tequila, and we all know that it's a mezcal thing, and mezcal is more peppery. So can you tell people about the difference? Most certainly. I just came back from Oaxaca, had the most amazing time. Um, the difference between mezcal and tequila, mezcal is kind of like the granddaddy of tequila. Um, it's much more smoky and earthy, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a lot of fruit. It's a lot of more layers. So technically, tequila could be a mezcal. Um, but we're more, you know, adapt to tequila. So we've got some wonderful. So I'm gonna sample it for the people oh, yeah. and let them know if it's delicious or not. Most certainly. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's very delicious, actually. <laughs> mm. But mm, oh, mm, oh. Mm -hmm. what was your inspiration behind this? Um, Tell me. Strawberry margarita. Mm. On a stick. Yeah. Strawberry margarita on a stick, Most everybody. Most certainly. Okay, so tell and us about the next one. The next one here is a cocktail we have on the menu at Bar Margot. It is called Pet Shop in Tokyo. So we have some rum agricole, a little bit of Suze. Midori has made a huge comeback. Mm -hmm. Have some kiwi syrup, a little lemon and lime juice. So we're just going to add this rum to this. And I also have a really fun uh, coconut foam we're going to add Ooh. on top. So why, why do you think Midori or melon liqueur went away for a while? I think that is one of those, um, one of those liqueurs that kind of like on the, you know, the 80s kind of, mm -hmm. 70s, 80s liqueurs, but they're making a comeback. So mixologists are kind of resurrecting the more obscure kind of liqueurs that people have to kind of dust off the bottle and not know mm -hmm. what to do with. Yeah, so do, do you think that maybe it's like, okay, okay, I have this green bottle of Midori. I don't know how to mix it other than making a sour. So what kind of other summer inspirations would you tell people to do with a melon liqueur? I definitely say that um, when you approach making cocktails, you definitely think about it like when you approach cooking. When you approach recipes in your cooking. So flavor, flavor bases, um, kiwi goes great with melon. Um, Lemon, lime juice, things of that sort. Ooh. And what do you think is the key to a good, delicious summer cocktail without being too alcoholic? Because we all know the sun and alcohol are not exactly friends. Definitely. Um, it's about refreshing. It's about balance. It's about um, just having a good time. What makes you feel cool and, and breezy and, you know, those things you can definitely... Um, what, what do we call it, Por porch pounders? <laughs> but one thing we really have to tell people, especially if you're drinking in the sun, make sure you hydrate Definitely. because it's absolutely not good for your body to just sit there and drink alcohol in the sun. No, that's very dangerous. Yes. Stay yes. hydrated, eat, drink lots of water. Okay, and how do we make this delicious? Can I taste the foam? Of I'm course. Sure it's delicious. How do we make this foam? Certainly. So it's a mixture of water, um, coconut milk, a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> A little bit of um, lime juice, sugar, and some um, Versa Whip to kind of wake it up. I'm just going to beat you. Don't beat me. I got on. Yo, when we come back, we're going to finish up with one more cocktail. We, we, Y'all, if I can stand when we get back, we're going to come right back. Because I'm going to drink this one right here. That's oh, all it's you. so good. It's Cheers. so light.
We are back on Sister Circle Live with lead bartender at Bar Margo Toki. Okay, so we have one more drink to make, and it's called Mordecai's Escape Mordecai's recipe. Escape, yes. So tell us about the name and tell us how to make it real quick. Uh, Mordecai's Escape. So it's in reference to the Royal Tenenbaums, Mordecai. He was this really cute little hawk <laughs> in the movie. Anyway, so it <laughs> plays reference to the peacock feather garnish that's going to nice, go in this cocktail. Nice, nice. So just run us through it really quickly. Yeah, so we've got a really fun... Um, Overly complex play on a margarita. Oh, so we've you have got a nice some reposado, nice and smooth yes. tequila over here, guys. Yes. Yum. So we've got she some reposado skip. tequila, mm -hmm. some lemon juice, prickly pear syrup, um, cherry and saffron bitters, with some green chartreuse and some absinthe. Okay, so why did you choose the reposado as opposed to the silver? Um, I just liked the the mellowness. Mm -hmm. um, the ingredients of this cocktail are so vibrant and mm -hmm. so they're loud. It's, it's a loud cocktail. Oh, wow. So tell us, but why now, why now did you use the green chartreuse instead of the, the yellow? Green chartreuse is definitely more herbaceous. Mm -hmm. um, it stands out. It's got that umph. It's got that wow factor. So I definitely wanted to do a very... <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. This beautiful. would be a nice October drink as well, ladies and definitely. gentlemen. Definitely. It's a year-round cocktail for sure. And it's garnished with some crumbled... Dehydrated raspberries. raspberries. Mm -hmm. Yum! Uh, to give it that extra kind of tart sweet at the same time. Definitely. Toki, you're just amazing. You're so uh, sweet. It gives you a little something to kind of, you know, a little, little fun in your mouth, you know? Okay, so our sisters are going to come in and, and take a look and try. Yes. Wow! Oh, look at the fair oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, my God. Can I taste? Yes, yeah. yeah. ladies, oh, you should try. Can I have the fuchsia drink, oh, please? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Oh, she has a drink right Thank now. Congratulations. Yeah. I'll hold it though. Okay. Mm -hmm. And smell it. Oh, this okay. is so pretty. And dream that I can think. have it. Oh, mm. Mm. Everyone try it. It, it, it kind of mm -hmm. tastes like a licorice a little bit. You have that, some licorice in you're there? Getting, you're getting the, the kind of anise does. qualities mm -hmm. from the absinthe mm -hmm. and from but the But it's a good licorice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember you used to avoid the flavor a little bit. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies, let's, let's do a long licorice. Way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do a toast. Yes, cheers, mm -hmm. ladies. All right, cheers to summer fun. Yes. Summer marriage. Yes. 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 New friendship. Yes. And just a good old time. Yes. Yes, ladies. I'm drinking to that. Sorry, KD. <laughs> mm. Awesome. Oh, Toki, thank you so much for these delicious cocktails. I'm glad you like. Just delicious. in time to kick off the weekend, especially yes. for 4th of July. For more of her amazing mixology skills, you can follow her on the gram at Miss Libation. Most Hello. certainly. Libations, we thank you so much for joining us today on Sister Circle. We will be back Monday with a very funny little Duval. Yes. 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 Love my best life. Ain't going back and forth with you, sisters. Uh -uh. Love my best life. I love having you guys at the circle. We can't wait to mm -hmm. do it again. I don't test a lot of nice and, uh, and, uh, nice and also, forks when I'm the main course. Wait, Bar Margo, uh -huh. five dollar burger Wednesdays. <gasps> oh, 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 Wednesdays. Come and get some. Nice. Come and get some. Did you have any vegan burgers? We got a vegetarian burger. I'm not oh, vegetarian. Y'all yeah. there on Wednesday burger?